Hello, welcome to World of Floorcraft. We're Karen and Nelson Rose, and this is an intermediate modern jive clip showing you how to do a first move lean. We will be back to the garden stage soon, but um, not yet. So, uh, probably best if we do the first demo from this side. It goes seven and eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and one. Now we're going to show you uh, more than one way into it, more than one way to style it, uh, and more than one way out of it. So there's actually going to be a few variations in this, but we'll start with the absolute basic. And the absolute basic is um, going to look like this. It's just going to be back in, twist out, into a prep, into the lean, back up, twist out again, and slide the lady away. I will start over this side as we do it together so that the guys can actually see while we do it. So we go semicircle back one. Obviously knowing how to do a first move is going to be an advantage. Link down below just in case you've never done a first move. In standard first move two. Twisting out normal first move three and this is where it changes. We're going to bring the lady forward turn her so she's looking over our shoulder so effectively to our left at the moment guys uh, and she's going to end up feet together we're going to step in with our right to make a barrier that she's going to be next to and as we turn her in she's going to be tight against that right leg we're going to sink onto that right leg guys get the left leg well out to the left lady's arm straight at her shoulder height right hand round onto her shoulder blade lady's holding on tight to the guy's shoulder and initially what we'd like the ladies to do and if you watch Karen first the step is going to go across behind the guy so ladies left foot is going to go over the top as the guy shifts his weight from his right leg to his left leg and the result of that is that Karen isn't really needing me to stay up if I wasn't there she'd still be okay and then shift the weight back ladies coming up we just twist out, guys out of the way, slide the lady through, hanging on with the left, so just like a slingshot. Now, the ladies could do lots of different things, and some of them the lady will be completely reliant on the guy for support, and some of them we won't. We're going to start with that one, because if anything goes wrong, the lady isn't going to be falling because the guy didn't support her properly, or because she slipped, or something like that. So, um, this is a good good starting version but guys we have to expect to take the ladies weight okay so let's do that again from the other side we go back one in two twist out three guys come around the lady and make the barrier sinking onto the right bring the lady in and get the left leg out four I'll talk about that in a second shift the weight across bringing the lady into the lean five ladies support yourselves hold on to the guys push down onto the floor with that crossed leg coming up six twist out seven sliding away eight and back one now you might be wondering why did I sink onto the right with the lady in close and get this foot right the way out here before I shifted over because it would have been easier to come in here and then just take a step across as I bring the lady over and the answer is very very simple <laughs> If you take the step once you commit someone else's weight and you slip, you haven't done your job of, of like duty of care. You haven't looked after your partner. Whereas if I do this, I know this foot is good. I'm going to be absolutely fine as I shift over. I'm not going to slip. Whereas if I start to take a step, you never know what's going to happen. Okay? So always safer that if you're going to take someone off balance, your support is ready before you do it okay so let's try that to a nice slow count here we go five a six a first move lean we go a back and in twist out preparation and lean up twist away and look at your partner okay so other things for the lady to do so the ladies have been taking their leg over and crossing behind the guy so they're supporting themselves you could just as easily have slid the leg wide or brought the leg up 
So let's try both of those things. We go back, in, twist out, do the prep. Now, first off, Lady's going to bring her own leg up, which means she's going to be completely using the guy for balance here. So guys, nice and slow, over we go, Lady's pose, and you can look at each other, of course, when you do things like this, and up, and twist out. So that's one option. Now we're going to do the leg wide. We go back, in, twist, prep. Now, of course, this leg wide could be gentle and out and pointed, or you could kick if you're going to be flamboyant. This position is strong enough that the guy should be able to support you, even if you surprise him a little bit with a little bit more oomph than he was expecting. Because if you kick, it'll actually make him have to work harder to keep you upright. Twist out and slide away. So we have three ways for the ladies to style their leg, well four if you include the kick, um, and we've done one way in and one way out. So let's do another way out. We've done the twist out again, we could just as easily have done a step straight back. So we could go one, two, three, four, five, six and seven, and you'd be ready to step straight into another move. So that's another option for leaving the move. And then finally, another option for getting in. We did it coming in from the twist. Now, the in from the twist, if you think about it, that's in a turn direction. That's in a return direction. So you could do this off a return. But actually, better still, you could do this off a traveling return. So you could go back, Travelling return and collect all in one, straight into the lean and up, and that actually gives you more impact. So let's go through that version. In fact, let's go through that version and the fast exit as well. So we're going to go, if I come around here, semicircle back, we're going straight from a travelling return. So anything with a travelling return, easiest one uh, would be off uh, an octopus or a uh, side to side. So if you want to begin a move to practice this off of, we're going to do the travel. As the lady's coming forwards, turning left, guy's right hand comes onto the side, slides across the shoulders. We've got to get under the lady's arm, and of course the ladies feeling this arm are going to shrug over the top so they can make a connection. Guys get in with the leg as the lady comes around and do your prep. That's all quite quick. And then it's over. And as we come up, we go straight out. And notice the grip's different to usual. Thumb into thumb gap. Fingers are actually still round because we need a little bit of extra oomph to make everything work. And that means that as soon as we come forwards again into whatever we're going to do next, you relax and change grip unless you need something different. So let's do that bit to numbers. We go back one, trouting return two, fully prepped three, into the lean four, up five, and out six to numbers, here we go, all together, five, six, off the travelling return, we go a back, through, collect, down, up, look, and you're done. So, ladies, remember to try the leg positions out, try different things, don't be uh, afraid to experiment. Guys, um, always make sure you're looking after your partner, so you're not going to be dropping any B by accident. Uh, and only do it if you're both in a fit and healthy condition because obviously as soon as you start doing weight bearing things you need to be certain that you don't have any problems that are going to play up. Thank you very much for watching World of Floorcraft. We'll put a music recommendation on the end and if you like, subscribe and hit the bell we will be much appreciative. Cheers. I hope you've enjoyed learning some modern jive. There is a link to some music that is good to dance modern jive to. Thank you to everyone who hit subscribe. You are helping us to make more clips. Thank you. Keep dancing.